Hello, I'm IBX Toycat, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Halloween Texture Pack for Minecraft PlayStation and Minecraft Xbox. As I release this video, it's just been released for Minecraft PlayStation, and it's been released for Minecraft Xbox for a few days. It's entirely free to download, and uh, yeah, in this video I'm going to be showcasing it, letting you see uh, a little bit of the above ground stuff, so the natural world, uh, some builds that I've made of it, so like my houses, my statue, that sort of stuff. Uh, I'm also going to be showing you uh, like the underground world, so you, you know, if you're a miner, you can see that sort of stuff, and the nether, because depending on how you play your game uh you know stuff is more important than others uh because it's free you probably should download it anyway but just in case your time is constrained or something uh bear this video in mind i've also done uh text pack reviews for pretty much every other text pack being released i'll leave a link to that in the description if you want to check those out and it also, also if you down there anyway i'd appreciate a like on the video it really helps the channel out and uh yeah that'd be appreciated but without further ado let's get into the actual review of the text pack so first thoughts on it were this is a cool text pack it does the spooky thing very well like look at the uh look at the uh, sun up there and uh, look at just, you know, the textures of things in general. Um, the, the point that I thought was the strongest is if you look at the mobs in this texture pack, look how scary they all are. Like, look at the pig, for instance. Like, their, their skeleton is just showing halfway through. Uh, the cows are hell cows. Like, look how scary these cows are. And uh, if I have a chicken around here somewhere, yeah, look at the chickens. They are just the most horrifying thing. And uh, it's a really cool thing that they've got the mobs down that scary. Like, um... It's not something you'd expect from a texture pack, and it does it quite well. So, uh, yeah, it gets the scary thing down just uh, well enough. Uh, and honestly, something I really like about the texture pack, as I'll show you like the lava just here and the water over there, is if you look around the texture pack, everything is done to the same standard as every other texture pack. Like you could, this they could have released this texture pack as a paid uh, you know add-on, and no one batted an eye. And that's why I think it's so cool that it's released for free because this is a full-on texture pack. This isn't like a uh, cheap just oh here's a you know little thing we made uh, in our spare time. It's here's a full on text pack, just have it for free. And that's always nice given the rest of them are for charged, of course. Uh, so here's uh, just a couple of buildings. There's my kind of spawn building made from spruce wood and from uh, birch wood. Here is my bank made from stone and stone slabs. And as you can see, most things look pretty normal uh, with a nice kind of Halloween twist. The one big exception is for some reason the iron golem is a zombie. I Exactly why that's real is uh, beyond me. And also iron doors are quite, you know, see through. You can see through lots of them, which, uh, you know, is problematic in some cases because you might not always want that. I don't really want people to see through here on my bank, for instance. But for the most part, you're not going to have too many problems converting a world over to this. Uh, the one big exception to that rule has to be the pixel art, because uh, uh, the the colours of the wall, this was done in a time where they figured, eh, let's just change all the walls to be clever blocks. So, uh, I think that would be brown wall. This this is brown wall for some reason, uh, which completely ruined Black Steve in my um, creative world. Uh, this is black wall, which is just pumpkin faces. I, I don't understand the logic there. And then I think that's grey wall maybe going through the middle. Like, it some of it makes sense, but a lot of it doesn't. Uh, from a distance, it looks just about fine. Look at the toy cat statue up there. Uh, but when you get anywhere close to it, it just starts getting confusing, and that's uh, kind of weird. And uh, usually what I do now is I go to the nether, but I figure for this texture pack, uh, something I really need to show is the desert. Because I think the desert um, biome is one of the biomes where this texture pack shines. And if that's somewhere where you spend a lot of your time anyway, hunting for Enderman or whatever, then uh, I think you'll really like this texture pack. And... Uh, as we head into the desert, my world, uh, something that I have in my world that really shows off one of its strengths is uh, the furnace texture in this, uh, because I have a furnace house, because, you know, <laughs> whatever the reason, I, I'm not sure I have a good one, but because I have a furnace house, you can see just how good the furnace texture is, and it's a really cool, scary one, like, it kind of looks like uh, Fogor from Killing in uh, Killer Instinct, but just look at the furnace texture, it's crazy cool, and that's always a good thing, and because uh, it's uh, night time, we can show you the actual uh, hostile mobs in this thing. So, uh, as you can see, they all kind of stick to the scary design, the creepers are the these weird ghost things. Uh, these spiders are... They're, they're just kind of a scary design for spiders. Uh, if, they, this, if spiders weren't horrifying enough for you. Uh, the one anomaly to that is that zombies just seem to be dudes wearing shorts for some reason. I don't know the logic. Uh, and yeah, the thing that I think, if you look at the sand texture, it's pretty nice. The sandstone texture is the same. Uh, but the cactus has got to be... <laughs> it's the coolest thing. It's man-eating cactuses, and that's always a cool thing. Uh, I was hoping there'd be an enderman around here somewhere, but they pretty much look like Slenderman, like, even more. And yeah, they, they get the scary thing just down, and that's uh, always a cool thing. And uh, uh, the, the cool thing is, like, I'd say creepers are less scary when they're ghosts, but it's it's still kind of scary to see a ghost explode. So, uh, let's head up the minecart elevator, and let's give you, like, a a full, uh, you know, view of the world as we do that. So, also another chicken. They are so scary. Um, as far as, like, the regular blocks you see most of the time, so, like, you know, the regular desert block biome blocks or the, uh, you know, regular dirt block uh, blocks and stuff like that, uh, they all look kind of how you might expect. I'm going to show you, like, a top-down uh, view of the world here. Uh, hopefully I have a minecart on me, actually. I do, actually. 
And also, look how spooky the minecarts are. Like, <laughs> I love how everything just has that tiny touch to it to make it spookier. Uh, like, I'd say the wheat maybe just is slightly changed, but pretty much every other block. Uh, and, you know, most items have this really nice change to them just to make them spooky for no reason. <laughs> uh, no, 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 not wrong, wrong way. Okay, I'm just going to get out of this one, and uh, we're going to chase that zombie down. Uh, but, yeah, that's something I, I really, really like about the text pack. I, 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 I get that it's Halloween text pack, of course. They had to do that. But, look, like, this is the rotten flesh, for instance. It's just a hand of a bone coming out. But I, I, I really by that touch of detail there and yeah as you can see uh, looking at the world it looks natural but spooky at the same time and that's always a good thing so uh, we're going to jump down into the water I'm going to go into the nether I'm going to show you that because of course the nether the scariest part of Minecraft that's probably the thing you should be scared of the how did that just happen? Uh, it doesn't really matter. Let's just uh, let's just continue with none of our stuff, and I'll show you the never. So um, yeah, just as a final thought of my house and stuff, it's it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, but let's move into the never. So the never portal, of course, because of every texture pack they change it, has a spooky kind of ghost effect going on there. Uh, as you can see just here, like ooh ghosts, and as you can see just ooh. And uh, the, the actual never itself is the more uh, interesting part, though, in my opinion. And as you can see, it's very very changed. So I'd say they, they kind of changed the aesthetic from like this big red glow to a big green glow and it kind of works I'm, like I think green is slightly scarier than red because it, it turns from being the hell dimension to this big spooky scary dimension Which uh, you'd argue that hell is scary, but like these are like eyeballs there. They remind me of the Super Mario 64 eyeballs uh, But like yeah, everything's got a very scary texture on it. Uh, I think the ghasts are just big pumpkins uh, Also that magma cube was not very smart at all <laughs> uh, But yeah um, all the mobs have a nice kind of scary change. Uh, the lava, I wouldn't say is too much scary because it's just green, but it's it's all you know really well done. Uh, like for instance, the zombie pigmen. You look at them; they're wearing a hood. And <laughs> uh, I, I really like that. Pretty much every texture pack decides uh, that zombie pigmen aren't scary enough and make them this next level of scary. Um, and yeah, there you can see there is a ghast. We're gonna try and avoid him as we go up our stairs. So uh, the Neverack looks kind of cool. It's sort of a throwaway block because you're not gonna really use this in real designs, but you know it's at least entertaining and unique unlike other texture packs and the default one. Uh, oh jeez, this is really close. The uh, the weird thing about it though is if you look, anywhere that's not within like 20 blocks of you has this weird purple shine to it. Uh, I know it's because of the perspective on the console versions, but it's still weird just to see, uh, you know, kind of the purple thing going on there. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's what's going on there. Uh, if you look at the uh, glowstone, it's also spookier. It's made from eyes. Like uh, some of the wall colors are made from eyes too. But uh, yeah, besides like the glowstone and a few other things, most things kind of like, act how you'd expect, just with a green kind of tint in the Nether. Even the fires are green because it just has to fit in with the theme, you know. And and it means if you build anything in the nether, it looks out of place. As you can see, my cobblestone house definitely does. But that's to be expected, I guess. So, also look, I, I love seeing the background images of these texture packs. I don't understand why they never release these worlds, personally. Because I'd love to have world downloads, but that's just me. Uh, so, yeah, let's, uh, let's just show you a little bit of the view uh, from here. As you can see... There are some mobs over there. There are some spiders. They're, they're chilling in groups for some reason. And uh, we're going to move to the final part of the uh, showcase review thing, which is going underground. And uh, just before I do that, I want to show you around like the sugarcane farm stuff, because that's always an interesting thing to see in texture packs. And as you can see, it's just uh, really the same, but with purple water and with like these weird orange and black uh, sugar canes. Because I, I don't know why, but for some reason, orange and black sugar cane are scarier. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's just what's going on there. So hopefully that shows you enough. Also, let's just quickly show you the moon, actually. Uh, as Wait, uh, let's let's just quickly go this direction so we can show you it. As you can see, uh, the moon is it looks kind of normal just with this spooky glow around it, and I, I like that. I'm, I'm down with just spooky versions of things, and that's that, that's the aim of the texture pack, as you can probably tell by now. Also, as you can see, even the wooden door you can't see through, but the iron door you can. No idea what the logic is, but it's just what's going on there. So, <laughs> uh, here's the uh, the uh, crafting table, the chest, the jukebox, and the furnace. As you can see, furnace probably the coolest texture. And let's finally just go underground. Let's show you what it's like. Is it something you can actually spend time with, or is it something that makes you want to die? Uh, that's that's what we'll be answering. So, as you can see, it's really pretty much exactly the same looking. Dirt is purple, which can put you off at first and makes things more than a little confusing for a while because you like wait purple. Uh, but besides that, it's just stone with this kind of skull texture on it, which is, you know, just fine in my opinion. Uh, cobblestone looks exactly the same, maybe a tiny bit changed, and uh, it means that you re really get, like, an experience you can deal with. Uh, the ores are kind of like the plastic texture pack ores. I think they might be directly copied, which makes them look out of place and stuff, but besides that, Underground is just fine, and fits in with everything else pretty well. So, 
Uh, to kind of summarize my thoughts on this text pack, I really like some areas of it. I really like some of the mobs. I really like the you know moon and the uh, the sun the way they did that stuff. It's just the basic stuff, but a little bit better. Uh, I even like uh, some of the stuff they did with the never to make it green, make it really feel different. And uh, if you, I, I couldn't show you in this video because the uh, world doesn't have an end, but uh, the, even the end is like made from brains and stuff. It's pretty cool. However, I hate a few things they've done with it. Uh, the different the text pack, like the uh, you know the wolf, for instance, uh, the fluid colors in some cases, like I think the purplish tone to it is kind of annoying it sometimes, and the green lava can throw you off, as well as the purple dirt. Why does dirt need to be purple? It, it doesn't. Uh, a few stuff like that really gets to me, and the rest of it is very average. So, it's good in some areas, bad in some others, and average in even more, but um, my overall opinion is I, I recommend this, because it's free, and you can only download it for a certain amount of time, so uh, at least download, at least start the download, so you can download it later, would be my recommendation, because uh, you'll regret it if you don't, because it's uh, only available for like a week or two a year. So I hope you enjoyed the video, please do like it if you liked it, uh, check out some other videos that are about to appear on screen, uh, and also check out the Steampunk text pack, which just came out too, if uh, you're curious about that. Uh, thank you for watching the video, I've been IBX Toycat, and here is an outro.